hasn't been like you know, UCLA to uh, Miami. Is it good? It's, uh, everything's fast paced here. You know, it's something about Miami, just the culture about winning. I think everyone has one uh, objective, which is win games, and it just comes with the work. So I think the adjustment of just coming here, just having the mentality of like every day I'm putting work, I think that's it's a good adjustment for me because I want to be the best version of myself. What are some of the things that you've been able to bring to that mindset? I think my just effort, I'm just ever, I'm always running to the ball. I think um, like showing like the young guys, like if you, if you don't get the first uh, move right, effort's gonna uh, fix everything after that. So, yeah. And this defense is a lot different that you're being asked to do versus where you were previously? Yeah, so um, on this defense, I'm playing the backside end now. Uh, with, uh, Soleil, I was playing uh, front side end, like anchor edge. So I was playing like a lot of like forte. Sometimes I'm a three tech, but now I'm like wide, nine, or uh, seven. Uh, that that, helps, me, that helps me, yeah. To rush Actually, the pass yeah. better and all yeah. that. Yeah. What is uh, so many transfers? What do you guys do to kind of build chemistry as a group? I think because we're always together, we're always moving together. I think um, uh, just having like uh, going out to dinner together, or just, we're always hanging out. So I think just us being together all the time, just helping us like mold and like uh, just become a family. There are uh, some, some of the guys who were here before who helped you guys out. Was you guys kind of, I mean, obviously it's a new defense for everyone, but just some guys who kind of helped show the ropes in Miami yeah. and that kind of stuff. I mean, yeah, I mean, one guy to really look at is uh, Jafari Harvey. He's one of the like, leaders that like just show, shows everyone like the standard and just uh, how Miami's, uh, how, how Miami Hurricanes are supposed to be. And I think we all just took that and we're you know, just trying to. Yeah, up to the game day speed because there's been a lot of your teammates that talk about switching in and out with defense. Yeah, I mean, yeah, just because uh, I think the way we practice and the way we work, it's just uh, like every single uh, uh, rep or team rep is always having a game mentality. So I think uh, the speed that we go on is like just uh, game, I guess game speed, yes. I, I think that we're, uh, sorry, I'm just trying to get this one. <laughs> I think we're, we're really ready for uh, the season. What do you think about the, the tackles, you know, John Campbell, DJ State, and all those guys working at, at Oh, yes. I mean, it's iron sharp, iron sharp is iron, so with uh, John Campbell, DJ Scape, uh, even Jalen Rivers, um, we're just always working. He's getting better. We're getting better. Every, every, every day we get better, so I think it's, it's just uh, once the once, uh, season comes, we're just going to uh, get our fruits of our labor. What are some of the things that you coaches really appreciate you guys? Uh, just find it to the ball, just get it to the ball, uh, win our one-on-ones, uh, effort, play physical, and just get sacks. Yeah. Mitchell, what are you seeing from Caleb in fall practice? Obviously, you know him, but just what have you seen how he's been doing out here? Uh, Caleb, he's, from what I've seen, sure tackler. He's going to get to the ball really fast. Um, just a hard worker, and he's gonna when he's on the field, he's going to make that play. That's all I can say about Caleb. Cover the for Mitchell. Uh, I guess maybe the biggest issue for this team last year was tackling. Uh, I know you weren't here last year, but you know, as someone coming in from the outside, what have been your thoughts on how the team has been tackling? Yeah, I mean, we're all always working on pursuit angles, so I think our, attack, our tackling drills uh, is going to show in the season. I think we're definitely uh, focusing more on tackling as a defense uh, group, so I think our tackling is definitely going to improve. You actually left off talking about Jafari Harvey mm -hmm. before you left. Uh, if you can just kind of expand on on him and how he's a leader of this team. Yeah, uh, Jafari, he's just, he's, we call him the voice because, you know, he's just always uh, uh, loud and telling people, like, to, uh, like, hands off when you're tired or uh, just run to the ball. Just, uh, he's just the type of guy that, you know, people can lean on if uh, you're tired or if you, if you need uh, any, like, adjustments on the field. Like, he's the type of guy that's going to be right there next to you and uh, just try to uh, uh, get you going. Last one for Mitchell. Anything? You guys are kind of playing the same spot, right? Yeah. Or just like, how has he helped you kind of? Like, I, I think specifically. I think specifically, just uh, our competitive. Like, if he makes a play, that makes me drop, makes me go harder. If I make a play, it makes him go harder. I think the competition level of us just, uh, uh, called just making plays and just working with each other. Because sometimes we just go left and right. Say we're dime rabbits. And I'm on the I'm the right side. He's the left side. So we just. Uh, just work, 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 work with each other. Hey, Jacob, just talk about your progress and the defense line's progress um, this fall. You only got one week and a half of the first game. So how's it yeah. going? Uh, I'd say we made a lot of progress towards uh, mastering the playbook and really just knowing the ins and outs. 
and you know where we could take chances and where we have to you know rely on our technique. So that's helped a lot and uh, made us all more confident in our play. It's obviously like kind of an unusual situation with so many transfers. Yeah. Guys. Like, how, how did you guys work to kind of build chemistry this summer? Yeah, I mean, we're just having fun, going at it, competing every day. That's something that's great about having so many good dudes around you. You know, it's not like a bunch of dudes who never played came and transferred here. We all have experience. And uh, we're just excited to compete every day and go against a great O-line. And it's getting it's getting us better every day. So we're enjoying it. You always hear about like team bonding the O-line does. Were you guys doing any of that kind of stuff over the summer? Yeah, of course, of course. Especially uh, like it was mentioned, we had so many transfers. Right. Or you mentioned that. Uh, so many transfers. So we needed to gel a little bit and get to know each other because it's not like we came in together or we've already been together for a year or so. So we had to make up for lost time. Anything fun you guys did? Uh, in cool. Not in particular, but we had some team events, you know, yeah. the water park, right. movies, and you know, we spent a lot of time together as a D-line. So, how does the depth of the defensive line here compare to you know other defensive lines you've played on? It seems like there's like 10, 12 guys that kind of rotate in like all the different positions. One hundred percent. I could, I could definitely say that I've never played on the D-line so deep before. It's so much competition, and we're all really progressing and pushing each other to get better, and it's a lot of fun when you have that many guys that can get the job done. You're only working at defensive tackles. Right? Yes, sir. How many of you guys do you expect to work in and out of games, and what do you see for your role? Your yeah. So, uh, Coach Steele always talks about uh, there's not 11 starters. There's going to be 20 starters, 25 starters, especially with D-line. You know, some of the best D-lines, especially nowadays, uh, out the college football landscape, it's a lot of hurry-up offense and trying to tire out the D-line. So, you know, we're going to probably rotate a bunch of guys, like six to eight, maybe, I don't, I don't know how many, but I'm sure a lot of dudes are going to play. Can you tell us about Antonio Moultrie's skill set? We didn't get to watch him much yeah. in the spring. Yeah, yeah. I think he's days. coming up next, but uh, he's explosive, and uh, he's got a, a lot of quick twitch, and uh, he's, he's a big body, so he, he has room to grow, and uh, I think we all have room to grow, but he's done a really good job coming uh, coming into fall camp and not playing spring and adjusting to everything, learning the playbook. He's done a really good job. Jake, you're speaking very highly of the D-line. What are you guys doing well in practices that leads you to believe this has been good, a good line? Yeah, uh, we're just we're putting in the effort and we're really relying on each other. And uh, we're just building that chemistry every day. Uh, so I might be with, with, with Moultrie on one, one series and then the next series I'll be with Daryl Jackson and we're learning how to play with each other and just stuff like that. And Coach Joe's really big on that, on learning how to play with another guy, so. You've played against some Mario Cristobal offensive lines at Oregon. Yeah. How does this offensive line look, you know, compared to maybe those Oregon lines that, that you Man, made? I think this off I think really highly of this offensive line, especially just it's five guys who work really good in unison together, and uh, they it's basically like the the tackle knows exactly where the guard's going to be, and the guard knows exactly where the center's going to be, and they're just really in tune with each other, and they work well off each other. Uh, the DBs yesterday we spoke to kind of talked about how like it doesn't really matter how there's a starter or not, it's just going to be like. Exactly. Stuff. Is that going to be the same kind of thing? Yeah, the that's kind of what I was getting at with uh, Coach Steele saying there's like 25 starters. Like, even if we put out the starting uh, depth chart and there's 11 guys starting, but he plans to rotate in a bunch of guys and have 22 to 25 guys who he could just put in without a second thought and know there's not going to be any busts on this play. Like, everybody's going to do their job and do it well. So, is being a, a starter or you know, first team, is that like a point of pride for, for you and the other guys, or is it kind of like? We're all, gonna, we're all gonna get our time on the field. Yeah, I feel like it's more like we're all gonna get our time on the field. It's more of a, a team mindset. No one really cares who starts. Like, we all know we're gonna play. As long as you're proving that you can be trusted every day and you're going hard every day, you're gonna play. So, we're all just trusting in that. What, what have you heard about Hard Rock Stadium, the atmosphere, uh, what you're thinking about for the opener and beyond? Yeah, uh, so I'm gonna be honest, I've heard that it, it gets a little bit, uh, like, it, it, it doesn't sell out well, but I'm, I'm expecting it to sell out well this year just because there's, you know, a lot of hype around everything we're doing. And uh, I'm very excited because just being from the area, I'm going to have all my family and friends at the game, and it's going to be great. And something that I never really got to experience back at uh, the other school. Have you been to games there before? I have, there? but only adult, only Dolphin Only Dolphin Yeah. Jake, yeah. has yeah. there been a lot of cross training going on with you, know, you guys playing on the Uh. Well, for me in particular, like I've just been playing D tackle, so that consists of three technique and uh, nose guard, which would be like a two eye. And then uh, we also have some uh, three down stuff, play some four eye, play some zero head up nose. So it's a little of everything. Yeah, man, he's explosive. He's, he's still a young buck, and he's got a, a lot to learn. But he's, he's physically, 
he's there. So once he uh, once it all clicks for him, man, he, the, 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 I, I don't even know what to say. He has so much potential. It's, it's scary. Who, 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 we'll do a couple more for Jake. Leonard Taylor. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Between him and, and Jerry, both of those guys are like really. I think like the tackle for loss per snap. Yeah. Probably, like are those two like kind of it seems like the potential for those two to be like real game changers. Yeah. High, yeah. Right? I agree. I agree. Uh, Jared, super quick. He's he's nimble for his size. He's got great footwork. He has a basketball background, so and that shows up. So man, yeah, we got some dudes. I'm excited. Jake, what would you say is the biggest difference between the USC coaching staff and this Miami coaching staff? I would say everybody is on the same page. Like. The coordinators and the, the position coaches, everybody is just in tune with each other. Like I've been, I've been at USC, and like the D coordinator will tell you something, and then the D line coach will coach you up a different way, or like tell you a, a different assignment on a play, and like it's just confusing. Like, but that doesn't happen here. Everybody's really in tune with each other, and they get the stuff communicated well. Just talking to Jake about how kind of like how deep the defensive line is, how you guys are all rotating. Uh, how deep, how deep is it compared to other defensive lines you've played on at UAD? Uh, it's very deep. Um, we have a bunch of starters in every rotation. Um, and it's just, it's just great having that much depth at the D-line. And like, is, it, is it a point of pride, like, whoever the starter is, or is it kind of like we're all going to get time on the field, all going to get rotated? Uh, we're all playing our role. We're all, we're all starters. We're all going to know that. Just playing the role that you're in. It's such an unusual thing where there's, like, five transfers. All from different places. Just how how do you guys work to kind of build that chemistry over the last few months? Um, on the field stuff, you know, in the weight room, in the locker room, you know, build that character, you build that bond, and that team bond that you really do. Are there some guys that you're really like, kind of liking playing next to? Some guys you feel like you have really good chemistry with? Uh, all of them. Uh, I recently started playing more with Jake alongside Jake, um, but all of them, I love playing with all of them. I'm talking about transferring in, and I think we're back and forth defense tackle linebacker or so far in school. What's been the biggest challenge this fall for Miami? The spring, obviously, to be injured. What's been the biggest challenge, you know, at Miami, trying to become an impact player for this staff? Um, I would say my, my, my injury is not a problem, but, you know, just coming back from my first surgery, you know, just kind of getting back in the groove of things. Do you feel like your weight's where you want to be, your strength, everything you need to be yes, able to tackle? Yes, sir. You, know, you obviously missed the spring for a lot of the spring. What was that recovery process like? Like when were you able to? Can you kind of just like take it through the timeline of all that when you felt like you were back to 100 percent? Um, I was back to 100 percent around beginning of May, kind of April. So you were able to do pretty much everything in the off season. Yes. How much did that help to have a whole summer here before? Oh, it helped tremendously. It helped a lot. Um, got my strength back, my power back, my weight back, everything I needed back to be able to contribute to the team. I haven't had a chance to talk too much. Why did you decide to come here and you know, transfer here? Better opportunities. And, and what, you couldn't play at a higher level? Yes, sir, higher level. What is that? I mean, obviously, you haven't played at a game yet, but you've seen practice. Just like, what is that jump a bit like? What's, what's oh, the biggest difference? Yeah. Yeah. Intensity. Well, everything's intense. Um, everything is fast paced. Um, everything about it is just on a higher level, and that's what I want to be. Has there been like a moment where you're like, oh, this is this is a lot different than what I know already? Um, in a way, not 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 really, but I mean, the intensity is different. Everything about that is different. I mean, football is football. What is the trait that you feel like you bring to the field that'll? You pushed. What is the trait that you feel like you can bring to the field that'll allow you to have success at this level? Um, my football IQ and my versatility. What at UAB? What do you feel like? Uh, obviously, you know. You went to, you were probably not as highly recruited like by a school like Miami. What, what do you feel like you did at UAB to kind of elevate your game to the point where a school like this is interested in you? Um, my IQ on the game, um, being able to communicate, um, my, my intensity, um, the level I play at, day in and day out, every down, every quarter. Um, just, I'm at, they, this is more than a high level. I played at a high level and I'm glad to be here. What is the, uh, how, how do you build that IQ? You don't hear about it a lot with defense. You know, you hear, think about more linebacker, quarter. Like, what, what, are, what did you have to learn to improve your IQ? Uh, just study, just yeah. study. Uh, study and tendency for the offensive line, running backs, quarterback, you never, you never can know too much. What are you expecting from, you know, the first time you get a play for, for Miami, you know, playing like an NFL stadium and stuff? Like, what do you think that's going to be like for you? Uh, I'm just focused on right now. I don't want to worry about anything in the future right now. Are you playing on the end at all, or is it all tackle? Um, mostly tackle unless we have like a type of 
Packers rivalry. 